It all started, I believe, many, many years ago when a man had a row with his wife locally and he was feeling fed up and he went out and he slammed the door and he set off to visit old Bill. And he stayed here with Bill drinking cider for some time. When he got back home, he was feeling so good, his wife said, well, there's a change, isn't it? What's happened to you since you went out? She said, I've been up to surgery. She said, where? He said, I've been up to see Will's surgery. Feel a lot better now. Ever since then, it's been known as Will's surgery. It's got it on the door over there when you come in. Will's surgery. And it really is marvellous stuff. When I arrived earlier today, I don't know whether you can hear the noise in the background. It's the old motor going, but they were just putting down this year's cider. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, wasn't that marvellous? That really was. When you think, they're sort of just going to be thrown away. Well, it's not. They feed it to the animals, I believe, when they've got all the juice out. But it really is lovely to watch a man take that much pride in his work. When he bends that straw back and puts another layer of apple on top. Pardon me. I am enjoying this. They make 600 gallons of that cider. And they get through it in a year because that's that they're making there for this year. And they've nearly gone through the other barrels. I worked it out, it means they'd go for about 10 gallons a week. It's all free, they're not allowed to sell it. They, they all come and drink with Bill as friends and it's all done there, very convivially indeed, in the surgery. And they all sit around and talk about their lives and the countryside. And that's why I'm going to join them. In course of time he grew a man and the good old farmer died. He left the boy the farm he had and the daughter for his bride. Now the boy that was no farmer is and he lies and thinks with joy of that lucky, lucky day when he came that way to be. Many surgeries anywhere in the country that work it. Does it work, Bill? Does your surgery work? Of course it does, or else you shouldn't have keep them here. Well I don't <laughs> <laughs> What I don't He's understand is what are we all more, being cured of? Going more than <laughs> <laughs> You'll all go waving in a bit better. Yes, that's what beginning to worry me, isn't it? <laughs> the thing I like about the medicine, Bill, is it always has to go around in a circle. You don't have a glass each, do well, you? We always... No, we can't There's afford only one drink. point. <laughs> but, uh, if you go the wrong way around, see the rain for next day. So if you go against the sun? Yes, right. You must go around with the sun. Oh, I see. That's where there's 30 years. I can take it in the half, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm being got at. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody you couldn't cure? 
I can't, I can't remember anybody that we had done something. What I mean, they, uh, no, the uh, they were the Federoni and your smart, and he said his wife er, er, was always tampering with him. He said, and he didn't know him because I might have dropped him much every night. And I said, you ain't going out, Harry, not no more. I was like going to Leffy. And um, so he went on for a day or two, and he said, I always go out to the local seat. And at um, any rate, he said, I went out tonight. He said, I ain't been out in over three weeks. And he went out and got Sazel's opsy. He didn't come here the night, Satin. And uh, so we waited up for him about between 12 and 1 in the morning and uh, went and looked for him. See, and he used to sleep long with the wall seal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and just like our pig's house out there, and he has arm around the wall seal, just like that. And he said, Oh, Mary, he said, I, I don't ever love you so much now in my life, but he said, I never know you had so many buttons on your nightgown. <laughs> Tell me about today. How, how do you feel about living now compared to the old days? Well, uh, we used to... Well, I, uh, I'm 75 years of age now, but I wasn't that 75 years of old. <laughs> 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 There's no answer to that! <laughs> well, <laughs> and I left school when I was 13 years of age, and I went out to lodgings, and I, then I was lodging along with me auntie, mine, four and sixpence a week. You weren't? That was my farm labourer's wage, was four and sixpence a week. I had to pay four bob for me board and lodge. <laughs> I had sixpence a week for a 12 month. <laughs> how, how, for how pleasure, did you work? For pleasure. And everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, you, you were going to tell me a story, weren't you, about a friend of yours and his false teeth? Well, his old friend of ours, uh, he was a neighbouring farmer. And uh, he'd been over here threshing, you see. And, uh, of course, we put in a good day's work. And uh, to finish off the job, we come in here. Of course, in the surgery. Natural enough to get ready for tomorrow. We had another day's threshing tomorrow. So uh, I probably had a, a drop too much of Bill's uh, medicine. I don't know where he did or not, but I, I should assume he had. And uh, next morning, we had to start threshing about 8 o'clock. This was uh, October, early October, light mornings. We had to start 8 o'clock. And uh, Bill said, old Jim coming across the field looking nursing around the way it went, we stick, come on again. And when he got up here, Bill said, uh, you look worried, Jim. He said, I am, Bill, he said. He said, I lost my teeth, he said. Last night, he said, I cost me 22 quid, he said. And uh, going back along last night, I, he said, I just had a bit of an oak. <laughs> And he said, no, he thought I lost them. They always put them in the little basin, see, boy. He said, it was on the old bedside. Smarting, they wasn't there, see. One man couldn't find them. I was lost them. He worried about it. Cost me 20 to quid, see. Ah, it's not very long. <laughs> <laughs> old Bill looked up at him and said, he's all right, Jim. He said, he's got them in. He was wearing them. Yeah, I mean, When I go tiling to my farm, I take my brown jug under my arm, I place him under a shady tree. Little brown jug, don't I love thee?